In the high-stakes world of automotive innovation, Mercedes-Benz and BMW are not just racing on the roads, but also in robotics. Today, we pit the Aptronic Apollo against figure 01 in a battle of humanoid robots. Welcome to Mercedes Robot vs BMW Robot, which one is better? Meet the Aptronic Apollo, a humanoid robot born from a decade of robotics expertise, including work on NASA's Valkyrie robot. Standing 5 foot 8 inches tall and capable of lifting 55 pounds, Apollo is designed for friendly interaction and mass manufacturability. With a modular design, Apollo can be mounted to any mobility platform or operate fully mobile with legs. Apollo's intuitive software suite enables point and click control, making it user friendly for warehouse and manufacturing operations. Its hot swappable battery packs each offer a 4 hour runtime, ensuring Apollo keeps working with minimal downtime. And with its unique force control architecture, Apollo maintains safe operation around humans, akin to a collaborative robot. On the other side, we have the figure 01, the world's first commercially viable autonomous humanoid robot. With a height of 168 centimeters and a weight of 60 kilograms, figure 01 brings the dexterity of the human form together with cutting edge AI. It boasts a payload of 20 kilograms and a battery life of 5 hours, with 25 degrees of freedom for precise movements. Powered by OpenAI's conversational AI, Figure 01 can comprehend and respond to queries based on conversation history, making it a potential pioneer in human-robot interaction. Its visual motor transformers translate visual input into actions, allowing for sophisticated task execution. When it comes to lifting capacity, Apollo has the upper hand with a 55-pound limit compared to Figure 01's 20 kilograms. However, Figure 01 excels in battery life, offering an hour more than Apollo. Both robots are designed to operate in environments built for humans, but Apollo's modularity gives it an edge in adaptability. In terms of dexterity, both robots are engineered for complex tasks. Apollo's design allows for dynamic walking capabilities and fine-grained manipulation, while Figure 01's 25 levels of freedom enable it to perform a wide range of actions. As for the price, Apollo is said to be available for about the price of a new car, while the cost of Figure 01 remains undisclosed amidst a $2.6 billion valuation for Figure AI. At the heart of Apollo are its advanced actuators, the result of over 13 generations of development. These actuators, or robot muscles, enable Apollo to walk, flex its arms, and grasp objects with human-like dexterity. They are designed for dynamic walking capabilities and fine-grained manipulation, allowing Apollo to safely interact and work alongside humans. Figure 01 employs torque-controlled walking, which guides the robot by specifying torque at its joints. KISS method enhances adaptability and allows for rapid movements with physical impacts, crucial for navigating real-world scenarios and interacting with people. The torque control in Figure 01's actuators provides a balance between strength and precision, enabling it to perform tasks that require both power and finesse. This technology is key to Figure 01's ability to execute complex tasks and interact with its environment in a way that mimics human movements. Comparing the two, Apollo's actuators are built for modularity and mass manufacturability, while Figure 01's torque-controlled actuators focus on adaptability and precise control. Apollo's actuators are the culmination of extensive research, designed to lift significant weight and perform a variety of tasks. Figure 01's actuators, however, are tailored for fluid, human-like movements, making it exceptionally suited for tasks that require a high level of dexterity. In terms of dexterity, Apollo's actuators allow for robust and safe interactions, making it a strong candidate for industrial applications where safety is paramount. Figure 01's actuators, with their torque control, offer a level of precision that could be beneficial in scenarios requiring delicate handling or nuanced interactions. So, which robot reigns supreme? It's a tough call. Apollo's strength and modularity make it a versatile powerhouse, while Figure 01's advanced AI and longer battery life position it as a leader in autonomy and interaction. The better robot may ultimately depend on the specific needs of their deployment. What do you think? Which robot would you bet on to lead the future of humanoid robotics in the automotive industry? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech showdowns.